Hi RC Fly fans, Sean Hartwig from Hobbywing North America. Today I'm going to be doing a product review for you on one of their aircraft speed controllers. This is the FlyFun 18 amp brushless speed controller which you can use for either fixed wing aircrafts or even RC helicopters. For me, I'm an RC helicopter junkie. I'm going to be installing this in my T-Rex 250 DFC Pro. This video is just going to talk about the features um, and also how to program it. It, um, I'm going to do a second video with it installed in my T-Rex 250 and show you how to program your throttle endpoints. Uh, one of the features is you can program the throttle endpoints no matter what radio you have. Very, very strongly recommend, or really strongly recommend, that you program your throttle endpoints before you fly. That way you get the full range of motion for full throttle to zero throttle without having any issues. Um, each radio is a little bit different, so you definitely want to make sure you take the time to program the throttle endpoints. Um, I'll go over that in another video when I show it installed. And if I'm lucky and I have the time, I'll do another video, maybe a third video, uh, showing it actually starting up and uh, some light flying. No 3D, so don't get excited. Now with this speed controller, you've got um, some features to be aware of. Uh, you've got extreme low output resistance and super current endurance multiple protection features uh, including low voltage cutoff protection, overheat protection, and throttle signal loss protection. Three start modes available normal mode, soft mode, super soft. Normal will be for your fixed wing aircrafts, soft and super soft will be for your RC helicopters. Soft is going to be six seconds for the spin up time, super soft will be 12 seconds. I recommend going with soft or super soft with your RC helicopter um, you don't want to have your fingers near the helicopter blades and accidentally bump your throttle and have it spin up instantly. Uh, that can either hurt you with the blade strike or it can damage your RC helicopter. And now you can't fly. You're going to be spending time on the bench putting it back together. So instead of stripping the main gear out or hurting yourself or breaking your helicopter, switch it to soft or super soft and save yourself some agony later. Uh, you've also got... Um, smooth linear precise throttle response and a uh, separate voltage regulator for microprocessors uh, please note that this does not apply to the FlyFun 6 amp or 10 amp um, you do also have anti-jamming capabilities there's some maximum speeds on this as well um, 210,000 RPM on a 2 pole motor 70,000 RPM on a 6 pole motor and 35,000 RPM on 12 pole motors now you can also pick up this handy little pocket programmer. Definitely recommend it for the 10 bucks I think it sells for. Um, this is a lot easier for programming your speed controller instead of using the blinky lights and beeps and the throttle stick and aileron stick to make your adjustments. Way easier. Fits in your shirt pocket. Take it with you. Make your adjustments on the fly. No pun intended uh, while you're at the fly field. Now you got your brake setting, battery type, low voltage protection, low voltage protection threshold and cutoff. You've got startup mode and timing, all areas that you can program to your liking. Now, for low voltage protection with the LiPo batteries, you got low, medium, and high. The same applies for your NICAD and nickel metal hydride batteries. Cover that in a second. For your LiPo batteries, uh, low voltage is going to be 2.85 volts. That's dangerously close by my standards to over discharging your battery. You've got medium at 3.15 volts per cell and you've got high which is 3.3 volts. I normally set mine to 3.4 volts for my RC cars. In this case I'm going to go with the high setting of 3.3 volts. That just gives a little extra protection to make sure that the LiPo battery life is extended. LiPo batteries are not cheap, so you want to protect your investment and not go really close to the over discharge threshold. It's my opinion. You can do what you like. Uh, I'm just saying. Now for your uh, nickel metal hydride batteries or your NICAD batteries, again, low, medium, and high. Low is going to be 0% or cut off, turned off. You've got middle or medium, which is going to be 50% of your battery or high which is going to be 65 percent of your battery so again protecting your investment if you put it on low 
there's zero cutoff. That means you can run that battery way down and possibly over discharge it, damaging the cells, really shortening the lifespan of your battery, and uh, making it hard to enjoy your car because you can't drive, or your helicopter, you can't fly it as long. So for me, on the LiPo, I'm doing 3.3 volts. Set it to your liking. It's entirely up to you. Now, startup mode, you've uh, got normal, soft, super soft. Again, normal being for your fixed wing, soft and super soft, ideal for your RC helicopters. Now, with timing, you've got low, medium, and high. Um, default is low. Uh, the low timing and medium timing is suitable for most motors. Uh, if you want higher speed or bigger output power, uh, 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 set it for high, and then you'll get all the power that you need or want. For me, I'm going to leave it at low and try it out and see how it works. might switch it up to medium, but low is probably going to work for what I do. Now, what I'll do now is I'll plug it in and I'll show you the program card. You're going to plug this into the BEC slot. Make sure you get your negative lined up with the negative. Next, we'll program in, or you'll hook your battery, excuse me, and your LED lights will come on. Now, what you do is you toggle through your different settings using your up down arrow and if you want to come across to it and make any changes that way you use your left right button you can hit reset at any time to put it back to default and every time you make a setting change and you want to save it press the OK button so first off is the battery or sorry brake now that is set for off I'm gonna leave that alone I don't want it on because uh, as soon as you throttle off it stops your motor Probably not a good idea with an aircraft in the sky or a helicopter. Just, I'm just saying. Now, we're going to leave this for off, so I'll press the OK button. You get the uh, blue light blink. Next is battery type. It's default for LiPo or Lion. I'll uh, press OK to save that. Cutoff type is soft cutoff. Um, that gradually decreases your, uh, your voltage, so you'll hear it start to spool down a bit and lose power that can at least give you an indication so you can come in and land if you have it cut off it just turns off as soon as it breaks that threshold it shuts everything off probably not good for your airplane or your helicopter if it turns off in mid-flight again I'm just saying so I will leave this for soft cut cut off voltage um, again lipo uh, you've got low, medium, and high, 2.8 volts for low, 3.15 volts for middle, and 3.3 volts for high. I'm going to go with 3.3 volts because I like to protect my LiPo batteries. Next, you've got start mode, normal again, aircraft, fixed wing, planes, um, soft start or super or very soft. Again, soft is 6 seconds spool up, very soft is going to be 12 seconds. I'll go with the 6 second. Timing is low, medium, and high. Um, low and middle is good for most brushless motors. You can choose high if you want a higher output of voltage, uh, more power. That's up to you. I'm going to go with uh, low and give that a try. Now, you've also got music and lipo cell detection. Um, it starts at um, uh, five cell I believe I'm only running three cells so I can't choose three cell so I'm gonna leave it as auto detect I'm also not gonna enable any music you can program about 15 different musical songs into this that play when you first turn it on that's your choice for me I'm not gonna put it in I don't want music to play I just wanna fly so I'll move on your next one is reversed item I don't need to reverse anything, everything's fine on it the way it is, so I'll leave that as is. So, as you can see, super easy to use, pocket size, portable, uh, programmable, right at, uh, at airfield side. Take it with you, do your programming as you need to. So, that is everything in a nutshell. Nice little package, lots of amp ratings available. My stock one for my T-Rex was 15 amp. I went up to an 18 amp because that was the closest I could get for it. Um, I'm looking forward to installing this in the helicopter and doing some testing on it. Again, this is one video of possibly three. My next video will be the speed controller installed in my T-Rex 250 and I'll show you how to program your throttle endpoints. And if I can swing it and get it in, 
I'll do a third video showing the helicopter actually spool up on soft uh, and maybe uh, a little bit of flying. No, no 3D, just so you guys know. I don't want to crash on videos, so uh, thanks very much for watching this product review. Again, Sean Hartwig for Hobbywing North America. I uh, appreciate you watching. Have fun at the airfield, and make sure that uh, you have a great time. That's what this hobby is all about, is enjoying yourself, having fun while you fly, and helping others. If anyone has any questions, don't be an ogre. Make sure you're helpful and you help out the new guys. The more people in this industry we get going, the better the industry will be. Uh, and the more fun you're going to have by making friends and being that guy that helped me out when I started. Alright, thanks very much for watching this video. Again, Sean Hartwig from Hobbywing North America. Have a great day. Happy flying.